I have no clue what's going on. All right. Uh, Anna, do you mind getting off of my computer? I need my... All right, thank you everyone for joining us. Meteorologist Kristen Walla here live with you in the studio with an update on tropical storm barrels. Still a tropical storm at this point. It's got winds of 65 miles per hour and gusts to 75 miles per hour. So hurricane force gusts, but not quite yet a hurricane. Again, that is where it sits. Here is a look at the latest forecast cone. It had another little jog to the east, and I'll show you that change here in just a minute. But this is the newest forecast cone, still expected to regain hurricane status heading into the next couple of hours. But as of right now, it is still only a tropical storm. It is expected to be a hurricane at landfall. That landfall location, the cone still focusing on that Matagorda Bay area. Places like Palacios and Matagorda, they are right down the center of that cone. Expected to make landfall as an 85 mile per hour hurricane before moving around a big area of high pressure right over here in the southern United States. And it's being dragged upwards into the north by a big trough in the central plain. So now here's a look at where those tracks have shifted over the past couple of model runs from the latest to or from the oldest, I should say, to the latest. So the forecast cone from about 24 hours ago is right here, this kind of middle shade of blue, and it has again since shifted to the eastern side of Matagorda Bay. So that is good news for us here in the coastal bend, but it doesn't mean we're quite out of the woods. We're still going to be feeling impacts here, and as such, we still have tropical storm watches, uh, tropical storm warnings, I should say, as well as hurricane warnings still in effect for most of the coastal bend. So you can see those here as well as online on our website. We have a great map there where you can see the forecast cone and all those watches and warnings. Another warning that we have in effect for New Oasis and San Patricio counties, as well as parts of Refugio and Aransas County, is a storm surge warning. The reason for that is the surf. It's going to be pretty high waves. Here's a video taken by meteorologist Carly Smith from the island earlier today. Some surfers catching some of those big waves, which are expected to continue to stay on the larger side heading into tomorrow. But the next couple of days, they are going to go down. That high rip current risk is going to stay with us though. Now here's a look at that surge forecast. It's going to be lower here than places closer to that landfall. You can see up towards Brazos Port and up towards Matagorda Bay, four to seven feet of surge here in the coastal bend. Anywhere from two to five feet of surge is what we're going to be expecting. Now let's take a look at a uh, barrel again on radar. You can see almost an eye starting to redevelop here off the coast. It's lurking off the coast. We're starting to see some of those rain bands here in the coastal bend pretty uh, parallel to our shore, and these are going to have some pretty heavy rainfall with them. So if you are caught in any of these downpours, you're probably going to get pretty wet. So let's walk you through future cast here for the rest of your evening. We're going to continue to see those rain bands make their way on shore heading into this evening. We're going to start to see that eye of barrel moving northward and heading into tonight about one, two, three o'clock somewhere in that window. That is when we are expecting barrel to make landfall up near Brazos count uh, near Matagorda County and Brazosport. Again, those areas around Matagorda Bay, they are becoming the focus for the center of that forecast cone. Now heading into Monday for us here in the coastal bend, not quite as active as we had thought a couple of days ago, which again is good news for us. And we're not really expecting all that much in terms of rain chances tomorrow, though we do still have that stray chance. And as we head into tomorrow afternoon, high temperatures getting into the middle 90s as we actually see some drier air wrapping around the western side of the hurricane at this point, and that will make us pretty toasty here in the coastal bend tomorrow. Again, there's that little rain chance heading into tomorrow evening and then into the rest of our week. We are going to carry more rain chances with some moisture coming into the coastal bend. As for our wind forecast, we're still expecting a breezy day for the coastal part of the coastal bend tomorrow. Anywhere from 20, uh, 15 to 25 mile per hour winds here in Corpus Christi with gusts up to about 35, 40 miles per hour. So that is borderline tropical storm force. But again, 
the focus of the wind is going to be right on the center of that forecast cone, the path right here with this red line. Those gusts potentially up to 100 miles per hour where a barrel does make landfall. So here's a look at that rainfall forecast. It is a more compact system, so the rainfall gradient or how it changes over a given distance is going to be pretty tight. So we're not expecting that much rain here anymore, especially since that cone keeps shifting over to our east. So anywhere from up to about an inch, maybe two inches at best for more of our northeastern areas. Folks further inland probably not going to cash in on any big rain totals. Here's a check of our seven day forecast. It is going to be hot weather for the rest of this week. High temperatures in the 90s. Again, we do have more of those rain chances. Tomorrow is our weather impact alert day for any of those risks associated with barrel. If you enjoyed this, we are going to keep streaming on our three news app as well as on YouTube. You can scan our QR code here. I believe we can pull that up uh, and you can scan that and follow along with us. We're going to go over this forecast again here in just a bit.